This is the Adams River at its mouth where it empties into Shuswap Lake. And even on a cold, rainy, misty fall morning, it's a beautiful place. And it's also one of the best places in the world to see these guys. Salmon. Mostly sockeye salmon. Thousands upon thousands of them are here in this little river to spawn and then to die. Salmon come every year to the Adams River and other little streams in southern BC to spawn. But every four years, there's a dominant run of sockeye salmon. And this is one of those four years. The Adams River especially is solid with fish like these. Sockeye salmon, bright red bodies, green heads. The males with wicked teeth and crooked jaws. The salmon are only here for a short time to produce the next generation of fish and then, exhausted, die. Their presence supports an entire ecosystem. Their life cycle finished, the salmon end up on the shores of the lake and along the river where they become food for all kinds of things. Birds, animals, other fish. And those parts that aren't directly consumed or just simply washed away continue to decompose. And the nutrients released from that gigantic biomass go almost directly back to the land where they nourish, well, pretty much everything. So I guess you could say that here along the Adams River, you can actually see the entire circle of life. Standing on the bank, you can watch these sockeyes and the occasional coho go through their spawning rituals, creating the next generation of fish. And that happens every year in the Adams River. Generation after generation, year after year, the salmon return. They spawn, they create the next generation, and the cycle continues. The Adams River is a place of life and death and nature at its finest. <laughs>